Are your grants mostly federal or state, or, or where are those grants coming from? Yeah, so I would say the majority of them are federal, mm -hmm. um, but even the federal grants pass through the state um, Department of Public Health. Got it. Um, yeah. So, but the majority of our majority of our programs are federal, um, federally funded. So, are you, Jenna? Are you talking with Brenda and Cap separately from me? Uh, yes. Yes, we've been okay. talking with Cap separately. Okay, good. So she can fill you in on. I mean, that's uh, federal funding as well. But those are those are some of our programs that are specifically aimed at uh, you know anti poverty type programs. So I'm glad you're talking to them too, because certainly as we've talked about. It's, uh, it's all connected. People sometimes ask me, how does CAP fit in public health? And it's like, well, if you think about it, if they don't have, um, you know, ways to pay their utilities and they're having issues at home with a landlord and need mediation, how are they able to focus on their health needs and remain healthy when they have all of these other stressors? And we know that stressors like that lead to poor health outcomes. So to me, CAP is is like it's one of the pillars of public health. We have to be fighting poverty to improve health outcomes. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And I could see that on the surface it it would look weird, but the other thing is where else would it be? You know? Right. Like that's right, Jenna, yeah, that's exactly I right. Mean, I mean oh. I guess you could put it with Department of Education, but they're pretty narrowly focused, you know. So Right. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, this has been wonderful. Thank you so much for making time. I know things are absolutely crazy, and I really, really appreciate it. No, I'm happy to do it, and I'm sorry we had to read it a couple of times. I apologize for that. Well, life is crazy. Uh, yes, yes. Now, when are you? When do you have to produce the um, the CHNA? So it will be done um, in May, but we are hoping to work with Kaiser to make sure that we can get some of the findings out to all of our participants a little bit earlier than that. But May is absolutely when it will be available for everyone. I'm excited that they contracted with you. It gives me, it gives me, you know, a lot more um, feeling of confidence that we're going to get a good product and something that's going to empower all of us to make better decisions. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, well, thank you. I'm really excited. One of the things um, is that they want to have these health profiles in the appendices because, you know, the CHNA sort of has a format you have to go with for the IRS and everything, but they wanted it to be a lot more useful. And so these health profiles in the appendices will have, um, you know, stories from people who actually have these issues and stories oh. from leaders who um, who address them as well as the numbers, as well as the resources. So I think those will be incredibly rich. Oh, that is fabulous. And, you know, that really... Um, one of the things that I want to do, and, and we're starting to move in this direction, is I want to create more, um, uh, actually, I'm not sure yet what level we can go down to, at a minimum city health profiles, um, so that we can really drill into some of these pockets of, of health, poor health outcomes and look at some of these social determinants and, and what are the root cause factors. And um, so I want to do that either at the city level, you know, I'd love to do it more even at a, a greater granularity, I just don't know if the data will lend itself to that. But right. moving forward on that, I'd love to talk with you about that, and maybe there's some areas we can partner on with that. Ooh, that would be fun. Yeah, so, yes, yeah, so lots, of, lots of work to be done out there if we just had all the resources we need, right? Right. Why won't somebody just hand me a couple million bucks, and then we'd be set? Exactly, <laughs> right? I, I know. I'm still playing the lottery, so if I win, Jenna, I will give you money. <laughs> Fabulous. All right. Yeah, all right. Thank you so much, Kim. This was great. Oh, no. Thank you, and happy holidays. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care.